Kim Orlando from TravelingMom.com, and I'm on the green with Maria Yorth. Did I say that right this year? Yep. Yes. Okay, good. Good, good, good. LPGA player and mom of one who is 15 months old. She's still traveling with her child. Her husband is a caddy for the PGA, so you are taking the baby with you. Yes. Right, yep. and using yep. the daycare. Yep. So right. how has travel changed since last year when I talked to you? Last year the baby was contained. The yeah, baby's not contained yeah. now. No, She's no. out and about, right? Yeah, she's out and about. She's, you know, moving around a lot, uh, obviously walking and... You know, just want to investigate everything, and uh, you know, she's she's all over the place. I mean, she's still a very, very good baby, which we've been very lucky with. Um, she's happy or whatever, but it's different when you're when you're traveling because you have, um, you know, obviously you have to uh, entertain her all the time. Right. Because she, right. Uh, she's not really in the age yet where she can kind of read a book herself or look at a DVD or anything like that. So you have to make sure that you have things there to, to kind of entertain her. And, and Is whatever, there something so. special that she loves that you always pack when you travel with her? Uh, actually, you know, if, if you pack toys, she doesn't seem to be very interested in it. So it's more kind of the, you know, the safety uh, information in the, in the <laughs> seat in front, you right. know, seat pocket in right, front of right. you or the seat belt or something like that. Now, do, do you know the trick with the barf bag? Like at all, you know, the last minute when she's gets unsettled or whatever, you pull the barf bag out, put your hand in, make a puppet. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. yeah, so there's, there's your tip of the next day. Time. Yeah. And yeah. next tip is model magic. That's also really helpful. So how has, has, has uh, the game changed for you at all? How's the level of play and having a baby who's, you know, active and staying in the same hotel room? I think that's really interesting mm -hmm. that, you know, as a, as a player, it's not like the nanny has the baby in another room. You're in the same room. Yeah, yeah, no, you are in the same room. I mean, we've been lucky, obviously, that she, she sleeps pretty good, but... Uh, you know, it's not late night. <laughs> it really hasn't been uh, any time. But you know, she need, she goes to bed at seven, seven thirty. So you know that you know you have to have dinner before that and be back in the room because she's going to go to sleep. Um, but she's a good sleeper and, and sleeps till about six thirty, seven o'clock the next morning. But uh, you know as well that she's going to wake up that time, so I have to get up that time. And so, how does that affect you the next morning if you have an early tea time? You don't get to choose your tea times during your tournament. No, I don't get to choose my tea time, but I, you know, I make sure that someone is there with me, whether it's a nanny or my mom has been traveling with me a lot, or uh, you know, last couple of weeks my husband has been out. But uh, you know, they look after her in the morning if I have an early tea time, so we don't have to wake her up or take her out of the crib or whatever. I mean, she can still stay there have a restful morning, have her breakfast, and then they we put her into daycare later. Terrific. Okay, thanks a lot, Maria. Okay, Good thank luck you. today. Thanks.